I'm so excited for this game, guys. It looks so good. The reviews are actually pretty positive as well. Oh, let's see if the hype is actually here. So, I recently played Space Marine 1. Really good game, even though it's like 13 years old. Had a great time. I mean, it's a little, you know, a little old in some, some ways, I guess. But it's, it, it was really fun. Space Marine 2, from what I've seen, kind of looks like it's got game of the year potential. So... Um, which one is... Is that Enter? Enter's not doing anything. Um... <laughs> Wait, what is the button? Which button do I press? Oh, I was technically all tabbed out of the game, according to the game. That's not a good start. That is not a great start. Now, um, full transparency, I didn't actually end up buying this game because they sent me a key for it. So, thank you very much for sending over the key. I would have bought it myself. But they sent me a key, so I figured, eh, if I don't have to, I guess I won't. Thank you very much, Scoff, for the five gift subs. Appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. That's extremely generous of you. We're starting the, the game off strong, apparently. Thank you. Um, helmet visibility. I did turn subtitles on. Oh yeah, drops should be enabled if you're watching this whilst I am alive. Let me just look into that real quick. Um, because drops do allow you guys to unlock a bunch of cosmetics. Are you guys seeing a, um, are you guys seeing a drops indicator in the chat? Yeah, I see it. I see it on my own channel. Should be there, right? Yep, 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 yep. So basically all you need to do is just watch the stream and you will unlock free in-game stuff, which is pretty cool. Thank you as well, Figaro, actually. Gifting five community subs. Very nice. Thank you. Um, I will add the drops as well to my stream title. There's also a cosmetic you can unlock by... Wait, how does this work? Oh. Oh, okay. So purchasing or gifting subs to Loco's channel while they are alive gets you an in-game weapon skin? Oh, okay. So you can unlock this weapon if you donate two subs is what it says. Yo. It's like the Diablo 4 horse. Remember the Diablo 4 horse? Huge. Thank you very much, Rondaku, for the 26 months. Thank you, Kais, for the 10 months. And thank you, Echo Steel, for gifting two community subs. It works? Ah, okay. Two gift subs equals in-game. Huge. Very nice. Is it a weapon skin or is it a... Maybe I should have looked into this before I went live today. I'll be honest with you. Purchasing or gifting subs gets you... There's a there's a detail over here. Uh, let me see. Go to a participating live channel. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Just go to my channel instead. Purchase two new recurring or gift subs and claim the reward. Watch for an hour and then you can also claim the consumable currency. So there's like in-game cosmetics that you can unlock, I think, and then also in-game stuff. Cool. Very nice. That is always neat. I appreciate the generosity, guys. Thank you very much. I don't even know what it is, though. It's an in-game... I guess I'll, I'll put in the title... In-game stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. Thank you, Kasten. Thank you, Mickey. Hey, yay, yay. All it takes is a. In oh, no, wait. That's no, not a horse. It's not a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Barnacle Bop, as well. 
No, I, I really appreciate it, guys. That is extremely generous of all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'm just gonna leave all of this on default. Subtitle background? Nah. Subtitle speaker visibility? I always like that. Colorblind mode? Do we need colorblind mode? I think I'm gonna leave it off. I'm not colorblind myself, but... I think it'll probably be okay. Um, other than that, I have decided to limit the game's FPS to 60. When I first booted it up, it had like a maximum amount of unlimited, I think. Usually that's a bit of a mess for streaming. So I decided to limit it to 60, but other than that, we should be good. <sighs> I'm kind of excited for this, guys. I really hope it's it's as good as, as you know, people are, are, are making it out to be. Thank you very much, Barnacle. Thank you. I'll got to sec as well. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Let's see. Next. Motion blur off, of course. We're not crazy. Dynamic range large. Okay. Ooh, I can pick my difficulty. Walk the path of a true son of McCraig. Display your prowess no matter what abominations try to destroy you. Confront a trial worthy of Gilliman himself. You are only one mistake away from recording your name upon the pennant of the fallen. What? How easy is heart in this game? Is it actually? How hard is heart? How hard is Veteran? I don't think I want to do Angel of Death. I'm thinking Veteran, but I'm not sure. What do you guys say? Go Normal? You, okay, for those of you that have actually played it, you think Normal is better? Normal is better? It's too hard, Loco. Most streamers quit. Wow. Okay, I'll go Normal in that case. In the 41st millennium, humanity stands on the brink of annihilation. The galaxy-spanning Imperium of Men is beset on all sides by hostile aliens and threatened from within by traitors and heretics. It is an age of constant war, a new dark age, in which enlightenment is replaced by superstition, rhetoric and blind prayer. To live in such times is to be amongst untold billions, existing in the cruelest and bloodiest regime imaginable. The most powerful and dreaded of the Imperium's defenders are the Space Marines, bioengineered superhuman warriors. They are humanity's last bastion against the terror. There is no time for peace, no respite, no forgiveness. Okay. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Kadaku, Sector MX44219, Imperial Health, Residius System. Here come the Tyranids! It's like the heart of the swarm trailer. Or actually, StarCraft 2 is like... Anyways, anyways. Begin encrypted message. By authority of Archmajos Nozick, Planet Kadaku Residuous System, something, 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 something. Target Xenos Tyranids. Early stage invasion. So we are we are not attacking another planet. Seize any bombardment preparation. Project or Project Aurora present. So in the previous game we're attacking them, but I think they're attacking us here. Aurora strategic value? Absolute. 
Urgent assistance required from nearby forces. Submit encrypted message. Submit it to Astropatic Relay. Hail the Omnisaya! Hail the Machine God! <laughs> Alright, the Death Watch kill team. Deploy a viral incendiary bomb. Oh yeah, the game's very bloody, by the way. There were some reviews that were complaining that it was too bloody. I mean, it's 40k. It's not surprising that it's bloody. <laughs> Kadaku. Oh, so we're not playing Titus? Kill team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. We have crashed. It's from your position. Oh, this looks glorious. The virus bomb. Damn it. He means darn it, Chet. He didn't mean that bad word. Use the mouse to move the camera. So you guys are saying normal difficulty is actually really hard, but the game is also teaching me how to use a camera? Ah, oh, snap. I wonder if this is like one of those big releases. Right, this is a crazy concept. I wonder if this is one of those big game releases where the developers were actually given a reasonable amount of time to complete the game. I I, I really hope we're gonna we're gonna get one of those games one of these days, okay? That's like a big release where the game is actually finished when they release it. <sighs> Maybe this is the one. Use tap to show your missing status. Okay. I'm gonna die with them. The sight I will greatly enjoy. Transmitter must be broken. Yes! Yes, it must. Um so virus bombs. Anything will die. Great plan. Anything organic is gonna be dead. That's one way to get it done, I suppose. Yes, drops are enabled on my channel. Yeah, a space marine can technically survive a virus bomb. We just have to make sure we are uh, very well protected. Oh, this looks very bloody already. So in the first game, you are basically taught right from the get-go, right? Your very, ver your very first move is killing little orcs. Oh, I painted a bunch of Tyranids, dude. 
I love the Tyranids. I'm gonna have to kill them now? What if I just let the Space Marine die and we let the Tyranids win? Hey, guys! Ooh. Am I already covered in blood? Damage depletes armor. Armor regenerates after a delay. Recently lost health can be restored by dealing damage. Beans. <laughs> Beans? Thank you very much, yu gi -Oh. Recently lost health can be restored by dealing damage. The white line indicates the maximum regeneration amount. Gotcha. Uh, I'm playing on the PC, by the way. What does it say on my shoulder pad? Sanctus Mortis? Alright. So I don't really know too much about the Warhammer 40k world, but I kinda... I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it. There's a lot of factions though, and a lot of things in general that make things a little bit more... complex. I thought I was playing Titus. They have Titus in the in the trailer. Hold the right mouse button to finish a chain sword combo with a heavy attack. The longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attack. Use heavy attacks against large groups of enemies. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched bombs. What if this is like the tutorial where my guy ends up dying? And it's just the tutorial, and then we switch to Titus. Because they clearly show Titus in the videos. You see to parry. Common attacks and attacks with a blue indicator can be parried. Oh no. Perfectly timed parries will insta-kill small enemies and will stagger larger ones. Oh no. Ooh. First parry is a perfect parry, gamers. I don't want to flex or anything, but I hope you're impressed. Sports. Can I go into the Zerk butthole? Or whatever it is? Oh, I'm... S okay. Press C, what an... I thought I could only do it when it's yellow? Or, sorry, when it's blue? Didn't I already parry twice? Oh, that was a parry, okay. So that's a perfect parry, I think, which is not the same as a parry, apparently. Oh, that's my shields. Ah, okay. I need some more enemies here, because apparently... Now they send larger meat to stop me. That's what sh No, 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 no. I'll just go around this side instead, okay? We'll be- we'll be okay. I will- yes, I will hide in the corner and wait for the large enemy to disappear. Press space to dodge attackers marked with a red icon or indicator. These attacks cannot be parried. Press X to lock the camera onto large enemies such as Tyranid warriors. Okay. So... Can I not just attack him? When an enemy is incapacitated, press E to perform a finisher to restore some armor. But no health! Notably, no health. Um, so, interestingly enough, I'm at one-fourth of my HP. We went from, like, being forced to learn how to use walking and turning around the camera to having to play really quite good, right, right from the very beginning, real fast. 
That's a loading screen right there, by the way. Me knocking down the rocks. There will come a day when Loco is understanding the tutorial. Yes. But today is not that day. Can I? No. Of course not. That's insane. What a crazy concept, Loco. Darius. Brother. Darius? I will repay them ten souls. Oh! Hey, buddy! How are you doing? I don't think he's doing well. Thank you for the gun. This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. So it's right my- oh, jeez. It's right mouse button for melee, middle mouse button to zoom in, which is a little funky. Normally it's right mouse button for zooming, but that's okay. I should be picking these rotten shadows out of my fangs for weeks. Situation here in the Moche is becoming severe. Have you secured the virus bomb? Do you guys stop talking about virus bombs? Hey guys! How y'all doing? Hey, thank you very much, Chess! Gifting two community subs. Appreciate that. Oh, was I supposed to not kill those? <laughs> Hold the right mouse button to knock back small enemies and mark them for a gun strike. Press left mouse button to perform a gun strike on a marked enemy. A gun strike instantly kills small enemies and deals significant damage to larger enemies. Okay. Hey, can I punch you, please? Oh, I uh, parried that guy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Not bad. Hey guys. So I don't have to aim those. Kind of neat. Yeah. Do oh wait, does that not cost me a bolt around? I guess it costs one round rather than multiples. Hey, I got HP back. What did? How did I get HP back? Uh, I am not sure, but we got it back and that's all that matters. Oh, it costs no rounds? So you're telling me to shoot them in the head, it costs no rounds? Gotcha, that makes sense. So I regenerate my shields um, whenever I deal damage, but I don't know how I regenerated my health. Maybe the, maybe these executions, or maybe I looted something. I'm not sure. You died in the tutorial. Hmm. Oh, okay. So health is regen by dealing damage, but the armor is automatically regen. Dude, this feels really intense. Oh, I'm gonna like this game a lot, dude. Even though I'm gonna suck at multiple occasions, because I don't, I, I'm not, what's shooting at me, man? Because I'm not great at these type of games, but I do enjoy playing them, you know? Oh. 
I'm doing pretty great, dude. Can't complain. The Tyranids look an awful lot like Zerklings. No, you got that in reverse. We are running out of time. <laughs> the Zerklings look an awful lot like the Tyranids. The Terrans look an awful lot like the Space Marines. The Protoss look an awful lot like the Eldar. Hill team, I am at the crash site. Retrieve the virus bomb. Now, obviously, the Tyranids also look an awful lot like, for example, the aliens from Alien. There's a lot of inspiration. Left, right and center. Yeah, one of the rumors for many years, and I don't really know exactly how proven this is, is that StarCraft was originally supposed to be a Warhammer game but that they ultimately did not get the license or something done. Oh my god, these guys can jump. I don't think we've ever had, like, official... official evidence for that. But I can kind of see it, you know? Because there have been a lot of Warhammer games. And I can't imagine that Blizzard would like to own the whole thing. I the People have said that for years, but I don't really know how true it is. There's no evidence. Yeah. Rumor is that Graham's workshop was greedy and wanted more of the share. Well, I mean, both Games Workshop and Blizzard are not necessarily known for making the cheapest products out there. <laughs> Baron. Baron, my brother, you have honored the Imperium with your devotion. Wait. Is there a corpse over here too? Oh shit, I didn't even see you, buddy. What can I steal from you? Yeah, reputation of Blizzard obviously in the 90s was different. Ah! We put the virus... Did we just put it up our ass? Where did the virus bomb go? if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. I shuffled it up my ass! Uvar! The Tyranids will never find it! It was large, it barely fit, but I got the job done within seconds. Hey, bud! Oh, that hurts. I'll just shoot him in the head. How about that? Wait, what? I parried him, didn't I? Oh no, I can't obviously push this guy. How much HP do you have, buddy? Quite a bit. Those are really cool enemies. Oh, jeez. There's a lot more of them. So I'm not getting HP back right now, though, by killing these guys. Maybe only when I kill them with melee? Oh, shit, there's another one of these guys. No. Whip me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah, I think I may... So now I got my HP back. Huh? I'm trying to figure out how the health, the health regen works. That guy died. But maybe it's the melee attacks. Yeah, maybe the melee attacks her. The parrying and stuff. Yeah, blue prompt means you can parry it. If it's a red prompt, it means that I cannot parry it. So I have to roll or dodge. Maybe it's just a time tutorial. HP back kind of mechanic.
Oh. Forgot about my heavy attacks already. Hold right to break. Yeah, that's what I just did. Holy shit, dude. There's another one of these guys. Are there iframes whenever I... Yeah, there's iframes. Whoa. I thought I... I thought I parried that attack, but... Oh, I'm out of money! Or... I'm out of bullets! Oh, I can't shoot him, even when I'm out of bullets. Execute! Then get HP back for that. Jeez, dude, this game is intense right from the start. This is the tutorial. Okay, well, I have no more bullets. Maybe there's gonna be some rounds hiding around the corner, because that's where we found them previously. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Huge. Got some bullets back. What do I do with the virus bomb? Helstros, are you with me? I have the bomb. I have 12 bullets and 69 for reloads. Oh no! It's the rat game! You have served your emperor well, brother. Oh no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey! New gun? A bolt rifle? So wait, what was the bun uh, gun that I had previously? To any Imperial unit that recovers this load. My kill team had a bolt, landed off course. bolter and a bolt rifle, I guess? My brothers are all dead. Slain by Tyranids. I have the virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launcher. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over Tyranid positions. I had a bolt pistol, I guess. And now I have a bolt rifle. That makes sense. Oh my god, this weapon deals so much more damage. Gotta be a little careful, I guess. But I have so many rounds. Are those the little guys or just... Yeah, I think those are the little guys. Excuse me. Woo! Nice. Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, I didn't realize I could zoom in. I mean, it's not much, but... Oh, shit. Are they coming around? Are they coming around this side? Is this a box I can shoot at? Oh, my God. Heavy attack, baby. <laughs> I am covered in blood. Holy shit. Guys, guys, guys. Is this a game that's actually living up to the hype? No fucking way. I've been playing games for too long. I've been disappointed too many times. I, I'm very hesitant. So far, it's very good. I hope the story is gonna be interesting too, man. Oh! Fucking. I was afraid. I was petrified, thinking that. Oh, hello. What's there. up, Lord Vanisher? Oh. One loco. 
Also like that. Bum 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 bum. Oh. The virus is our one chance to delay the Tyranid invasion. The virus will spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. I had to. What is this creature, man? Is this a drop pod? Is this... Is this the drop pods that we saw coming in from space? They're this big? Oh, that's what it is, yeah. I didn't realize they were that big. Ugh. Fucking gross. It's like a mix between an overlord and a spawning pool. Yeah. Can I use the heavy gun? I mean, I feel like this polter that I have is already nuts. Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Anyways, I started blasting. Yeah, there's a lot of iframes. When you're stuck in those animations, you have some invincibility frames. Meaning like you can't take damage. So like those animations seem to be... Hey buddy, what about this big boy? Step on him. Oh, I want to execute him. Hold up. I think this was basically what they were trying to do when they were working on StarCraft Ghost all these times. I feel like this is essentially... Like, remember that project that got binned by Blizzard a bunch of times? I feel like this is kind of what they were trying to do. Except Space Marines are way cooler than Terrans. Operator shift change overdue. Your tardiness has been flagged for invigilation. Oh yeah, shut the f- Open the gates! Shift chronometer reset. You are registered as on duty. Carry out the officer's work according to the divine synchronicity. Sorry, I have to be a gamer and look around here. There's some noise. Is that coming out of that thing? I think there's like a chance that I heal up or something. I don't I quite I don't quite understand how I heal. The Emperor protects. That's the iframes of this game. Yes. I also kind of feel like this is one of those games where in the past, whenever we have a game that looks this nice, it immediately assumes that you have the freshest and most recent graphics card. So I'm running this on very high settings. I don't really know exactly what I'm running it on. I think it's max, other than motion blur. And I'm running a graphics card that is like two years old. <sighs> An old piece of sh and it still works. Yeah, this is running really well. Now, you know, but like a lot of, a lot of games get developed with like, say like in the current generation, I guess you would have like a 4090. I have a 3080 Ti, which is a, a very good card. But you know, a lot of the times whenever we have a game like this coming out, it's like optimized for only the most recent hardware. And that does not seem to be the case at all. I like preemptively dropped this down, like I said, to 60 FPS, because sometimes there are some problems with these type of games where you know, it assumes that you have only the latest and greatest. But not the case. The game thought I had a 3070? What? 
Do you see my graphics card selection? Oh no, I have a 3080 Ti. Wait, does it not detect it's a 3080 Ti? So these are all um, ultra. I, I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna drop it up to... Um, drop it up. I'm gonna push it up to 90 FPS. See how it goes. This will not make a difference for the recording or for the stream, but it'll look nicer for me. <laughs> if there is any lag, please let me know. Actually, I guess, yeah, 3080 Ti is actually quite a bit older than two years. My computer is like three years old at this point. Now, nah, it's gonna be identical for the stream, so for my recordings, it's capped at 60 FPS. But for my end, I'm capped at 144 FPS. Yeah, maybe I'll upgrade my graphics card at some point in like, I don't know, the next few years, but it doesn't really... I think what I'm actually going to do as well is move my camera down so you guys can see my main objective. There you go. Yeah, I feel like 2025 is going to be like the next upgrade window. But so far this computer has been so solid. Like I've had, I'm actually going to run, this is probably one of the most graphically intense games I'm playing in a while. I'm going to run some... Uh, some monitoring in the background. Curious to see how hot my computer is going to be running. I think it's going to be running pretty hot. But anyways, as long as it's stable, it's fine. Inserting payload. I took it out of my ass. Very nice. I'm using hardware info usually. It wasn't actually a virus before, but now that I shoved it up there, it is now a virus bomb. Hazardous material detected. Further benedictions required. Transmitting override authorization. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The rite of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Locate the orbital launcher's activation console. Is it the one that says interact? I guess so. How often do you swap SSDs out? Never. Wait, people swap out their SSDs? <laughs> I don't know, I just put it in the computer. <laughs> they have a limit? Well, of course they have a limit. But. Where is the command console? On the observation platform above. The Magos on duty does not respond. I, uh, I'm running a NVMe SSD. If you go to loco.tv slash setup, you can see exactly what I'm running. Yeah, so my computer's running pretty hot, guys. This is the max temperature of the die, which is 83 degrees for the CPU and 86 degrees for the GPU. We're running, uh, we're running pretty hot. As long as it's stable, it's fine. Well, I'm, I'm obviously recording, I'm streaming, and I'm playing the game at the same time. So, like, this is quite stressful for a computer. The lift. Plus, it's relatively warm here. Oh my god! But yeah. I do have to keep uh, monitoring some of that, I guess. But I haven't noticed any issues. Hey! No! Check! Wrong button! I was trying to middle mouse it. But yeah, my computer is encoding twice, so I've been... I changed some of the settings, so ultimately the VODs can look a lot nicer, because on Twitch you're very limited as far as bitrate goes in particular. So I'm streaming at 1080p60, but I'm recording at 1440p60. And then at a much higher bitrate, so the VODs will look a lot nicer. And it's been, I've set this up some time ago, and it's been working out really well. 
But it is a lot of firepower, or a lot of horsepower for the computer, I guess, but... Is this too hot? 85 degrees for the CPU? Is that too much? I don't know. I think it's fine, right? I think the save boot off is like 105. Up to 100 is fine. If it shuts off, we will know. I'll lower the in, like, I'll, I'll, I'll lower the, the room temperature by a degree. <laughs> See if that makes a difference. I've noticed though, in general, these, these CPUs and GPUs run hot. So like, actually, when I first had this computer, um, I thought something was broken, because very frequently, my stuff would be idling at 60 degrees. I was like, oh shit, like, I'm not doing anything. But then I realized the fan curve of the, like, the, the, the stuff that's supposed to keep it cool has been set up in such a way by default that it never really turns on until you reach a certain temperature. So very frequently, my, my graphics card, the, the fans are not turning at all. It is just off. It turns on only at a certain temperature, and that, like, baseline temperature is quite high these days. Have I changed the thermal paste? Nope. Uh, I'm running an AMD 5900X. Which is, a uh, like a four-year-old CPU, I think? <laughs> Why? Oh, are we all hating on Intel again? Mate, I never... I know there's a lot of people that are like Team Intel or Team AMD. Whenever I buy a new computer, I just go with whatever is the most... bang for buck at that point in time. That's, that's what I do, man. I don't really care about AMD or Intel, unless you guys want to sponsor me. AMD and Intel? You call me? Call, I will do whatever is the most value otherwise, though. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm playing this at loco speed, Echo Soldier. Very slow. What is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been locked. Activate launch systems. The right of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. A Magos will attend to you shortly. Oh shit, dude. This is what we... We have a gigantic ramp over here. In the Netherlands, we use these for a television show called uh, Ter Land te Zee en in de Lucht. Are you guys familiar with it? <laughs> no? You guys don't know Ter Land te Zee en in de Lucht? Okay, anyways. Um, I, we, we, yeah. We use that apparently in this game to launch the virus bomb. Sorry, that's just for the Dutch folks watching. That's like three of you. <laughs> Shout out. Do we get to sit on the bomb? I don't know, man. I feel like in this... I, I, we're gonna be launched into the stratosphere. I don't know if it's a good idea. Hit the big red button. Can you not hasten the damn process? Survive until the activation is complete? Well then. Come at me. I have two weapons. One that's amazing and one that's great. <gasps> I don't want to waste my grenade. I think these are... Are you guys real? Okay, fine. I'll throw one grenade. Oh shit, you guys are real! Ha! Okay, well those were my grenades. I don't... Oh my god, do I actually... I've... I don't know, I don't know if these guys are an actual issue for me.
Sure. Send me in one of these big boys as well. How long do I have to wait? Oh no, here's one on my back. Oh. My launch authorization? Press the fucking button! Oh, okay. <laughs> Just... Yes! Press it! There's one button! Whoop! Jeez! Do we... Oh! It is done. Do we... Not die? Can I survive a virus bomb this easily? Or am I effectively also dying here myself? Well, the virus bomb has already been deployed. Breathe it in! Wait a second! I'm not an ultramarine! What? 